for LAS to really bring this one home and keep uh, Team Ice on the board. And of course, our next matchup is going to be Kami from the mid lane on the side of Brazil. Bear is going to be taking to the Howling Abyss as LAS's support. So mid versus support could be a dangerous one. And Kami was definitely doing well in the 1v1s last time we did see him, RWCA 2015. He was thwarted by Carbon, but it was up the ranks a little bit. Kami's good. Uh, I don't think he's the raid boss of his lineup. I think that definitely goes to Yang, but he is up there. He's he's not even one of the ads. He's maybe a sub boss. Uh, and there, <laughs> he just goes in. So he will probably, as we were mentioning, apply the carbon approach of just walk at the opponent and see what happens. And that could go 50-50. Kami's play will just do try and outplay him and stop Bear from playing his game. Well, we'll see whether he can actually get that one done because phew, things are on the line. And Bear... He played the Pantheon today in the Assassin mode. We'll see whether he's going to be able to get a chance to do it here in the 1v1s. Because I personally think the Pantheon is a fantastic choice when it comes As to 1v1s. As do I. Uh, if you don't have mechanics, then Pantheon is the man That's for you. That's the one. You just press oh. Q. He's, he's, uh, he's AD Nunu. Uh, you just toss the spears and then yeah. you have all-in potential. I personally uh, like Grasp of the Undying as well. It's just <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, it works against the EU casters. <coughs> <Super>. um, so, <laughs> getting into this champion select, Atlas. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to have some you know, hands-on experience analysis that yeah. I threw out there. This is all about play-by-plays attempting a bit of analysis here, Pulse, and I, <laughs> I, I just really had a good time. So we are into champions like Kami going to be taken away on the side of Kami, and Syndra is going to be removed because he played it on day one. Just get rid of it. Yeah, Syndra is a perma ban against all mid laners. Uh, anyone who has the potential to play Syndra, you should just ban that one away. Just because she will dominate the 1v1 pretty much regardless of who you pick, I think. Um, outside of those cheesy exactly picks. what he wants to get rid of. That Cassiopeia ban came through immediately. Uh, get that one off the table. Again, Kami just too good with those mid laners, and Cassiopeia can be absurdly uh, oppressive if he yep. starts, get, uh, starts to get rolling. So don't want to play against that. Yep, Caitlyn, of course, very, very standard. Varus going to be the final ban. We saw do quite well yesterday. Nasus, of course, the Susan Award. Goes over this way. His bear's just like, I'm playing Annie, and I'm going to smack you with a bear with a bunch of fire. And yet again, another champion that I was actually tossing up whether to play Annie or Pantheon. So you know that you can't really get that wrong. I mean, All she's... That. Uh, easily. She's a little point and click, right? Like, yeah. she's in, in a pretty good place. Whoa, oh, okay. God. All right, so I, <laughs> I just want to ho oh, from all the pro players. The literally just right next to us, a couple meters away. Yeah. Uh, Urgot, I'll get to in a second. Annie is a pick that uh, Miffy is definitely behind. He was saying, uh, if you want to win that 1v1, uh, Annie is up there in the tier list in terms of cheesy picks, because there's just not a lot to it. It's very brain dead. There's not yep. a, lot, a lot of outplay potential, but it's easy to get to the maximum potential of that champion as a player who doesn't often go for those 1v1s. So as a support player like Bear, just go for something like an Annie, a Pampion, a Nunu, a Nasus, something where you can reach that very peak. And if your opponent tries something spicy, goes for something like an Urgot, like a, a Velkos or something, tries to outplay you, screw you, Manny. I'm just going to hit you in the face a bunch. Yeah, and I know that you really like the analysis and all this sort of stuff, so it, it actually pains me to say this, but his name's Bear. He yeah. had to play Annie. Because he's... She's got a bear. Yeah, I mean, he is, he's a special species of bear because we've had, you know, Mighty Bear, I, and he's just bear. He's vanilla bear. He is yeah. the most vanilla of bears. The OG bear. The OG just bear. Just bear. Just bear. That's and looking it. to try and throw one down. And, of course, does need to get to that level six mark in order to do that. The big old switcher is going to come through from the Urgot at that point as well, but you can't really counter a big old bear to the face. So the goal here really is for Kami to try and outrange his opponent uh, and just hit those corrosive charges so he can lock on with the acid hunters. That is the, the aim objective. of the game. Uh, try and outrange the enemy because her spells are the same range as her auto attacks. So if she's in range to auto attack you, she'll be hitting with Q instead. Um, but Kami will be able to outrange that ever so slightly. So that will be the objective. Yep, adorable little Frostfire Annie and terrifying Mecha Urgot. Not exactly something that you want to be coming up against as like a 12 year old girl. It's not good. Not a good news story. It's actually a really frightening 1v1. Indeed. For a whole lot of reasons. Just waiting for the minions. Come down the Howling Abyss. I can't think of anything particularly worse than Annie facing Urgot down. Yeah. It's, Maybe it makes me feel a little or bit Maui, Something like that. Oh, God, boss. Um, Every time. Oh, misses the Acid Hunter flat out. Does Kami. Still able to get that passive rolling. This bear looks to be like just trying to farm out this mini wave. I would have thought that those... Oh, God, okay. 
Throws a snowball in there. He's looking to go aggressive. Okay, snowball to bear. Um, he will need that to try and close the gap now that he's seen the Urgot because he does have the slight range advantage. Um, his auto attacks, of course, not, but with the Acid Hunters, uh, as it is a skill shot. So Bear will be able to use that to get in range and just land the full combo. His, yeah. his goal essentially in life is to hit Kami as much as he'll let him, get to level 6, blow him up with his full combo, uh, hit him with the exhaust, hit him with the snowball, and that will be his in. Uh, he doesn't even necessarily need to hit Kami. He just needs to hit a minion close to him, and he'll be able to get in there. That's goals. Uh, goals for Bears. Yep. yep. Bear goals. Bear goals. Bear almost has that snowball back off cooldown, of course. Very low on the cooldown scale. <laughs> that particular summoner, as Bear is going to be able to finally charge up that stun. Gets rid of it immediately. I wonder what his strategy is here, because, you know, make it to level 6, go for that sort of pseudo-flash Tibbers maneuver, utilizing his snowball. But at the moment, he's not really harassing Kami at all. You can imagine that his life would be made a little bit easier if he was able to get him at least whittled down a little. So it doesn't matter too much right now because uh, he needs to wait until Kami is near level 6 as Bear will be level 6 as well. He knows there's probably going to be someone going back during that time, so any harass he does now doesn't matter too much. However, I can CS with Q and it's yeah. very easy to do so and it doesn't hit my mana bar. So if I'm being pushed in by the Urgot, just use my Q on the mini wave. Uh, try and get as many as I can before it heads to tower. Regardless of that fact, Kami is still winning as he has priority and it's very difficult to CS under tower. Um, just because of how the towers are actually slightly different in terms of doing more damage to the minions. So Bear has recognized this. Uh, but that is the thought process for Bear. Yeah, also the fact that Kami being the mid laner, very good farming things out. Off in a roll where you want to be uh, just focusing on farm almost all the time. Isn't even going to miss a minion once he gets stunned. A little cute fire blast from Bear. Ooh, Thunderlord's Croc does come in. Half the health bar now down. So Bear finally trying to get aggressive. Yeah, knowing the shield was down from Kami as well. Uh, the shield was actually very well timed from Kami, just kind of a, a flourish of mechanics, if you will. Uh, but <laughs> the bear's like, I'm just going to walk up and hit you again. The and your Urgot, Urgot so. mechanics. That's fine. I like it. Kami does not zone bear away from the health relics, so he'll just get that one for freebies. Is it just feeling a little bit like it's a lot calmer than we were expecting? Yeah. In this particular bout. I mean, I thought that with an Urgot, with an Annie, You'd want to be sort of going at it a little bit more, both of them. Lots of readily available harass opportunities. So I thought Kami would be going deeper onto Annie, um, and then Bear would be waiting for that level 6. So I was expecting more of that, right? You know, Kami uh, harassing with the Acid Hunter combo with his corrosive charge. Uh, but so far he's been farming, and that's fine, because Kami is vastly ahead in farm. He's over two waves, so he can play this game. He now needs to be careful because Bear is approaching level 6, so as a result, he'll go back, he'll pick up some magic resist, which will uh, make it hard for Bear to just go for that I'm going to 80 to 0 you play. Yeah. So he has to take him a little lower, taking into account that the uh, Hex Drinker is there. Well, that's an Arm Guard purchase here as well as Bear goes back, but Hex Drinker is huge. Hmm. Large sort of spike in power as well, being able to complete some sort of item. I mean, of course, Bear does need to stack his up, but will definitely do him some good having those extra defensive stats. But I could imagine as an Annie, I mean, what you want is more executionary stats. My thoughts exactly, dear Atlas. Uh, I think Bear should have gone for maybe either penetration or a little more damage to try and get through to Kami. His idea is like, I don't want to be too low, so if I go for my combo, I'm just going to die to Urgot. Uh, I get that, but um, he does need to be able to kill the Urgot because that's his win condition. So <laughs> yeah. uh, probably could go in a different direction. However, Arm God, a very efficient item against an AD matchup in this 1v1. We'll be able to stack it up. It's not a bad purchase, just maybe could have gone for more damage. Well, Hypokinetic Position Reverser is now on board here for Kami. Big note to say that he did take the Exhaust and Ignite combination. Good God, those Acid Hunters are really starting to stack up as in goes Bear. The Exhaust goes down immediately. He avoids using the Tibbers. He gets hit by that Acid Hunter and has to now go back. Okay, so this is, um, in a weird way, kind of good for Bear. He just needs to get this recall off, go back to base. He loses the mini wave, but he would have lost that regardless. Kami burned both of his summoners. Bear still has um, his snowball on a low cooldown, because yeah. that's not like a pure summoner, and also the, uh, the exhaust. So next time he can go for that trade again, and if Kami stays in, he'll have to go back now after this wave, so he's burning the rest of his mana. But 
the next trade he can go for is significantly better. The fact that Bear survived that was just a good thing for his species. Well, the scary thing is, is that it's 22 CS, the lead for Kami, who's just been obliterating these minions over and over again. The tower down about a third health as well. Bear is on the ropes, but only needs to kill the Urgot. Still has that opportunity. Has a full health bar. See whether he can do it, because now it's a Spectre's Cowl on the way for the Urgot. So Bear is looking for some efficient trades here. Uh, he may just burn the Snowball to get in range, land like a Thunderlord once he has Pyromania up. So he gets the stun, an easy trade, backs away from Kami. Maybe he dodges the Acid Hunters, maybe he doesn't, but he's trying to get Kami within kill range now that he's level seven. He's got Tibbers, he's in good shape. He has the Summoner spell advantage. The window for that, however, is fairly low because the two Summoners that Kami has down exhaust Ignite. It's not like a flash. So. Bear needs to kind of up the tempo now, because if he doesn't, minions will come into effect and Kami wins. Well, now Bear does have the snowball. He's going to land it on the back line of the minions. Kami's just going to create some distance, get himself out of the way, and there's no opportunity here for Bear to go in. And Kami's just playing this calm and collected. Oh, the Bear comes in. Good stun from Bear. But is it quite enough? The health but the health pack is going to be there and the switcheroo under the turret bear tanks that one up but utilizes his timbers to do so good stun as the exhaust did come in acid hunter does land but he's going to survive for the moment and grab himself the health pack kami now just trying to zone stop bear from going back however he's going to head back to the minion wave and continue trying to win this one out slow and steady all right, Bear's in a bad place. Uh, oh, yes. This is, this is the definition of bad news, Bears, mm -hmm. because he needs to wait for his ultimate. That may not even be in three minions waves time, where at that point, uh, at that point, Kami would have won through minions. His exhaust is going to be down for his next trade. Doesn't have that either. Uh, and Kami's summoners are about to come up. This is all looking very dire for, for Bear. Um, uh, outside of a mess up from Kami, this should be his game. Kami as well, looking at his... Uh Summon a spell cooldowns, they are about to come back up. Bear struggling to last hit underneath this turret at the same time. Half the health bar now on that particular structure. 12 CS. Spectre's Cowl is in. Another Ruby Crystal. Kami, we saw he was just doing so much damage regardless. Doesn't matter, Bear can't kill him. He's playing the numbers game here, Atlas, and Bear is about to become another page in the Dunzo Manifesto. Uh. Sad. I have a feeling that it's true. And it's so difficult to watch. Bear just skipping down this lane, but if I was feeling the way he was, I probably wouldn't be skipping. <laughs> it's watching yourself circle. Yeah. If you could swap Annie's uh, walking animation to anything else in the game, what would it be? Uh, a shamble. A shamble? Uh, something like a, a zombie brand? Yeah, like a zombie shamble. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm a dinger walk would be good. Bear's just going to walk it, Kami. That was an odd maneuver. Yeah. Well, Kami just needs to last hit these three minions perfectly, but he wins in four CS. So, yep. the CS is currently here. Bear has to make a play. Yeah, Kami Bear has factors. Let's go in. Tibbers is doing some work under Kami, but these minions are smacking him down as well. Good shield comes in, as Tibbers is going to at least be defeated. Two more minions do have to land, as Bear has to try and do something. Another stun. No more mana is left. Kami just holds on to it. Oh my goodness. That would just look disgusting. A win on minions. I yeah, mean, it just doesn't feel good, man. It doesn't. It's not hype. No. But neither is Nunu. But it was in the last game, so <laughs> I'll give him that Well, that one. was the Nunu losing. That's why yeah, it's Yeah, that's hype. why it was hype.